Hey, it's Cory. I'm going to teach you how to do reasonably quick earth and sky reflective armor. The plan is to make blue above and earth below, with whiter browns near the bottom, darker blues near the top, and a hard division between the two. Here's the main colors I used if you want to take note, but just use what you have. I start by doing most of the work with an airbrush. Painting with a brush would be fine, but we're looking for speed here. I kind of want to paint an army of these guys. A blue rattle can from above and walnut spray from the bottom would also work if you don't have an airbrush. You always want to start setting the stage with your browns in this way, as it's much harder to do them without ruining your blues if you do it the other way around. Once my darker brown is done, I move on to a brighter brown in this case with a bit of yellow to it. With my brighter brown, I airbrush at an even lower angle than before. A mistake I made here is trying to go right to my extreme brights for my brown section by adding a bunch of white to it. It really needs a bit more precision than that. I quickly noticed it wasn't working out, so I pulled the plug. Now for the blues. You want to start with your mid-tone blue, and just a note, I wanted it to be very blue to match some existing models that I have, but going even brighter here with your blues will look even more reflective and realistic. It is incredibly easy to cover too much of your browns here. I even slightly do too much even in this example. Um, slow down a tad and look at the model and think to yourself, if I was standing in a field facing them, what would reflect blue and what would reflect brown? And how did I get in this field? Should I surrender or should I run? I really don't know if I can get away from this guy. He looks really fast, but he's wearing a full set of plates. So even though I'm out of shape, I might be able to beat him. But what if he catches me? He's going to be angry. Maybe I should surrender. Maybe it would be a better idea if I just... I noticed my deep blue wasn't actually quite enough contrast. So I added some ink intensity inks to it to make it a little bit darker. We're not going for traditional non-metallic metal here, and it's important to keep that in mind. We want a lot of contrast from the middle of the reflection up to the top. Now, you could actually stop at this point and paint in your other details if you were kind of phoning it in. I brought a bunch of guys painted like this to a tournament I was racing to get ready for, and I got some oohs and ahs. So if you wanted a rapid fire new technique with a minimal amount of work, there you go, you're done. But we can definitely push this further. I'm starting with my darker brown and drawing a meaty line where the blue and brown meet. Sometimes it can be hard to tell where you draw it and it's useful to hold it at arm's length and see if you can kind of vibe out where the line of the horizon would go on the reflection. Once the darker brown is established, I work on blending it into my lighter brown, which should already be present from our airbrushing but may need some cleanup or paint added to areas that the airbrush couldn't reach. Finally, you add some black paint or ink to some of your dark brown paint to draw a thin line where the horizon is. You may need to blend this into your brown with your dark brown if you have a shaky hand like me and make things a little too fat. Next, we do the same thing in reverse. We start with our light blue and start moving along our horizon line, just above it. If you see a place you think would look good with a traditional highlight, go for it. Specular highlights still exist, even in something that is reflecting back the ambient world around it. I add a bit of white to my light blue and make a very thin pass, much like we did with the brown black from earlier. This is the lowest part of our blue. I also go along and clean up some places where the brown paint kind of got all over the place. So I added in the regular details here off camera so I'm not just looking at the blue sky armor in a vacuum. 
Are we going to paint reflections for all of these things onto the armor now, you may ask? No. Of course not. <laughs> Good lord. We will add washes to the recesses, like any other model though. We're just making sure we absolutely don't have downward pooling, and we're keeping the washes mostly in the darker brown areas. I get the brilliant idea here to take some Nuln oil and kind of reinforce those horizon lines, uh, but I don't think it really made much of a difference and it kind of just made a big mess that I had to clean up anyway, so I wouldn't. I wanted to show regular acrylic washes first because you probably have that, but wow, you should really consider buying panel liner enamel paint. I use Tamiya, but there's other options. It's like contrast paint, but without the tea staining. It's incredible stuff. Very poisonous, but you don't have to worry about licking your brush like an animal because there's uh, one built into the cap and it's not very compelling to lick. This black stuff absolutely rules, but I tried it for this process and it's way too dark for this blue and it kind of ruins the effect. What I would suggest though is taking some odorless thinner on a q-tip and cleaning off the non-recess areas after about 20 minutes of drying. Sometimes you can get the odd enamel drop where it shouldn't have went. And I would also suggest not just using regular q-tips, get artist ones, they don't leave fibers all over your model. At this point we're done with the armor, but I notice that it can be hard to distinguish the weapons from the armor and it really needs to be pushed up a little bit further. Otherwise, it kind of just looks like you just forgot to paint the weapon. I just use a regular sword non-metallic metal process here by starting with white for my major highlights and blending down to my darkest blues. I just make sure to only use my reflection colors for my armor to make sure it's all cohesive. Final, lastly, we do the base, making sure to only use our brown reflection colors, and we're done. <laughs>